What's up everybody? It's your instructor, Gerard Dyson, here to give you another great lesson to help you as a rookie lower your score. Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for coming by. If you haven't got a chance to subscribe, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button above or below the video. I would love to have you as a part of the family. Now for those of you that may not know, I put an email address at the end of each video so that you, the viewer, can write me and I'll be able to try to answer the question for you live on these videos, okay? So today we're going to go ahead and get started. It looks like we have Marcus from Atlanta, Georgia. And Marcus writes, Instructor G, I want to play golf, but honestly, I don't know anything about golf. Can you make a video explaining what clubs are in the bag, what the numbers mean, and when should I use them? Now, what a great question, Marcus. What we're going to need for today's lesson is our golf bag. And I'm going to show you all what's inside the golf bag and what you're going to need before you get to the golf course or go out to the practice room. So let's go ahead and get started with today's lesson. Welcome everybody to the classroom. Now today I'm going to be showing you what's inside the golf bag. Now maybe you've just bought a new pair of golf clubs and you're interested in playing the game but you're not familiar just like Marcus was saying in his question. So today I'm going to go over these things with you and hopefully once I'm finished you'll feel really comfortable about either going to the golf range or actually playing around the golf. Now as I show you these live examples you should be able to take the pictures that I show you and compare them to what you have in your own bag and I'll be able to explain what you would use that club for as well. So if you're ready to get started and you have your golf bag let's go ahead and get into today's lesson. Take a look at the image. I placed a standard set of golf clubs on the floor so you can see what we have in the bag. One thing you will notice immediately is that the clubs go shorter in length as you go down. So the first thing I want you to remember about the golf clubs is that the longer the club, the longer the intended distance. So let me answer one of Marcus's questions here. When would you use a specific club? Since we know the longer the club, the longer the distance, now you will have a good idea of what club should be used. So the driver is usually used as the first club because it hits the longest distance. Then you have the three wood and a three wood hybrid. Those are also used to hit longer distance. I'll get into that a little bit later. But you have a five, six, seven, eight. You may have a nine iron. And then you'll see a club that has a P on it. Now that P stands for pitching wedge. You usually use this when you're about 70 or 80 yards within the flag. And then we have a putter. Now, most people know the putter because, uh-oh, someone must be falling asleep in class. I told you guys. Now's a great time to take a test break. We don't want him to come back. So, test question one. What club am I using? A pitching wedge? A driver? Or am I using a five iron? That's correct. The driver. Now, let's go into our first club, the driver. Looking at the driver, you will realize that the face is very big. However, if you want to hit a good ball when setting up with the driver, you have to ensure you hit the ball dead center in the face, which is a term used for the front of the club. Now notice, there are lines on the side. What happens when you hit the lines? Usually, it's it causes what a golfer calls a slice. 
aka you may hit the ball in the woods. Now on my driver you can see that the lines for the safe zone are a little bit bigger. Now, Can you see the difference between my club and the club I showed in the still example? Great, now let's move to the next club, the three wood hybrid. This club looks similar to the driver, but of course is a bit smaller and the face is smaller. You will also notice that the three wood club is kind of flat on the bottom of the face. This is because it's commonly used to hit the ball off the ground. Notice that the bottom of the face is a bit more flat than the bottom of your driver's face. Why is this? The three wood is often used to hit the ball off the ground or fairway and sometimes used as an alternate club on the tee box, which is a starting point of a hole, in place of the driver. Are you all with me? Good, then let's keep pushing. We're almost done. The next club we will discuss is the irons. As you can see in this example photo, as the numbers go up on the irons, the loft or tilt of the club tilts back more. Why is this important? As you can see, the more loft a club has, the higher the flight it can create. So now that you know the higher the number on the club, the lower the intended distance, and that the higher the number on the club, the more loft it has for higher flight, you should be good to go. I'm holding up a 5 iron so you can see that the loft is not as steep as the 9 iron loft shown in the photo. Now I hold a pitching wedge so that you can see that the loft of the wedge is tilted more than what you've seen on the 5 iron. I went outside so you can see an example of what the loft of my 6 iron looks like from your point of view. Can you see it? Oh no! No worries. False alarm. Now's a good time to have our last test question. What club am I using? Notice I'm right by the flag, about 15 meters away. Now remember, I'm only going a short distance. Oh no, who said the driver? The correct answer is pitching wedge. Don't upset the kids. Let's go into the bottom club, the putter. You look at your putter, you will see it may have lines on the face. The lines are there to assist you in hitting the ball in the center, which helps you create a straight putt. Now there are many different types of putters. As you can see, this putter looks different. Wider lines on the back, and a bit fancier as well. Let's close out with the golf bag. If you look at your golf bag, it should have multiple storage compartments to store items. The zip cover at the top is to protect your clubs from inclement weather, which can occur while playing around a golf. You also have slots to place your golf balls for easy access. There are sections for you to organize your clubs along with the strap to assist you with carrying. All right, you all did great. Let's head back to the classroom. Okay, I hope that everybody has a better understanding of what's in the golf bag. Just remember, the longer the club, the longer the distance. Now, I wanna say congratulations to my nephews and niece, Dorian, Mia, and Layla, for their graduation to the next grade. And I also wanna congratulate my little from the big brother and big sister of Atlanta program, Michael Neal. Now Michael told me that he can do a better magic trick than me. Now Michael, I know you like dinosaurs, but try to do a better magic trick than this. Ha, ha, ha.